Minutes of the meeting on August the 14th, 1943. Proposal 6, passed with several changes for submission to the Führer. Immediate and unconditional abolition of all religious denominations after the final victory. Not only for the territory of the German Reich, but also for all of the liberated, occupied and annexed lands, with the concurrent proclamation of Adolf Hitler as the new messiah. For political reasons, the Mohammedan, Buddhist and Shinto religions are to be exempted from this measure for the present. This calls for making the Führer appear as something between a savior and a liberator, one sent by God to whom divine honor is due. Existing churches and places of worship belonging to the various religions are to be changed into Adolf Hitler shrines. This resolves the difficulties with the planned abolition of monogamy. Polygamy can easily be built into the doctrine of the new faith. The model for this heaven-sent man may well be Lohengrin, the Knight of the Holy Grail, who springs from the Celtic Germanic imagination and already enjoys a certain traditional status. With appropriate propaganda, the Führer's origins would have to be made even more obscure than heretofore, and also his future departure, at once, without a trace and in total darkness. Return to the castle of the Holy Grail. On this proposal for his apotheosis, Hitler wrote the first workable draft to Dr. Goebbels for further revision. I think part of Hitler's persona, of his self-presentation and the way he was projected to the German people was undoubtedly had messianic traits, that he was the redeemer, the erlöser. La religion national socialiste est un substitut de religion, une religion substituée à une autre, ce qu'on peut appeler une religion ersatz. Ja, Hitler hat nicht nur religiöse Elemente übernommen oder eingebaut in das faschistische Ritual, sondern hat das faschistische Ritual ganz deutlich als Staatskirche mit sich als Führer, Sohn, Gott in, da drin aufgebaut, installiert. Nein, Herr! Das deutsche Volk ist wieder stark geworden in seinem Geiste, stark in seinem Willen, stark in seiner Beharrlichkeit, stark in der Tran aller Opfer. Herr, wir lassen nicht von dir, nur segne unseren Kampf um unsere Freiheit und damit um unser deutscher Volk und Vaterland. Amen. 